Shame! Shame! Like, don't shame me! I don't know how not to eat these. We have gummy bears and it could be a problem. Oh, you don't have messy hair. I'm surprised. But unfortunately, everything else on the island is a bit of a hot mess. Hello, everyone, and Hello. welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya, and this is... Lycan. My husband. And today we are on Wabi Sabi, our Japanese city slash cyberpunk island. And it's been a little while. It's been a long while. <laughs> uh... He made a little test build. He was figuring things out. Like, can we just get some appreciation for the fact that you made cliffs and rounded them out? This is where I'm at right now. We've okay. all been here. Oh, you even made an intersection. See, I laid a custom path. Yeah. I mean, this is big for me. Found out you can put things on the top of a cliff. So what we're gonna do today is Lycan is going to run around and probably do some cleanup on the island, Me? get what? some things organized. And I like to get the shopping district like started-ish and I kind of needed you to do that. So, and I'm here to help you. Thank you, I need it. And I would also like to ask you some questions about your experience so far playing this game. We have gummy bears here as well. So... Is this fruit? <laughs> want one? Yes. Do you want to clean it up, like, all this furniture? You've got a lot of furniture items just, like, randomly laying around. And I realize that's my fault because when we were trying to get to three stars, I put a lot of this stuff down. Yeah, but it was good because it was, like, inspiring to see... Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah. I want to say hi, but... Oh. <laughs> it's like, where have you been? <laughs> um... I've Something. been here all along. You just haven't seen me. Why Why are you avoiding me, Doc? This is just like real life. I didn't actually hear anything you just <gasps> said. But I just nodded. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. You're in a rush and then someone starts talking to you. You're going for a walk. Someone starts talking to you and you're just like, I got places to be. But you can't just say that. I mean, in Doc's defense, you were the one who talked to him. So. Yeah, that's true. Boink. Oh, I oh. just missed it. Good. Oh, man. I realize right now you've just gotten incredibly distracted and now <laughs> you've forgotten what we were doing. Oh, yeah. gummy bear break. I want This is why them. nothing gets done on my on my half of the <laughs> island. Because I go in, I'm distracted by something flying by, stuff I gotta do, little tasks, gummy bears, <laughs> a cat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't focus. Okay. Check your pockets. What do you got in your pockets? What's the situation? They're a hot mess. So what you need to do is put some stuff away. Open that present. Microwave, perfect. You need to go to the storage shed and put some stuff away. These are full. Okay. Um, I think there, I... It's over there, I saw it. This one? Skirt! Yeah. I think I put this here. You know, for somebody who doesn't play very often, you certainly have a lot of bells. Yes. I have friends in high places. <sighs> So, to-do list, okay? So I have a feeling that you would benefit from a to-do list, which is one of my specialities. So we need to clean up the random items. Oh, like all of this? Yeah. Then we need to like remove some cliffs to create the shopping district and place the shop down over there in the proper place. So over here, you see how, oh my gosh, I haven't played in a hot minute either. My Whoa. side's covered in weeds too. Is that because you've been in Al <laughs> at Alexandria? Yeah, so I've been on my other island for so long. Shame, it's shame, my, Don't shame me. I don't even have a group like this on my side. What's going, yes I do, but what is going on here? It's not about me, it's about you. Look at this. Thank you, you're so sweet. What, you just, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you pick up one weed. Here, let me help you. You can see how we have Able Sisters on the left side. What I would like to do is I would like to flatten down this side on the, like the second level and the third level, like flatten it down so that we can put <laughs> Nook's Cranny on your side. So if you get up onto the second level, you'll need to take down all of those flowers, Shut but that's, that's item number two. Oh, what's the, okay, what's the one? Clean up the random items. Step two is gonna be terraform the shopping district. Okay and move the shop there and build a bridge. After that, I think that that's gonna set us up in a really good place. Big Step number one. Stay focused. This is this is a lesson on focus, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna stay focused on a task. I'm, I'm actually serious. Okay. You've got this. 
uh, the pattern here. Oh, you don't need to pick up that because that's something that you made for yourself. But that's I like might a... use that actually. I might actually exactly. that actually might be an intersection. That yeah. I... Actually, I, I use your trick about laying down a non-custom path, just yes. a regular custom in-game path. path. In-game path underneath this, so that when I go to my map, well, but now, now you I, can see it there. Now I can see it there. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, in. while yes. we do this, I'm gonna Talk ask to you some questions. Don't. What would you say is your number one tip after playing the game for a really short amount of time? If you were to recommend something for a brand new player, like what should they try to do first? Earn as many Nook miles as you can. Because without that, you can't terraform, you can't lay down paths, custom paths, all the fun stuff. Extend your rivers or get rid of your rivers. What is that? Water path? Water terraform? Yeah. So you can't even do any of that without Nook miles. So literally, if that's what the first part of me playing this game was. Just doing everything. I think just like playing the entire scope of the game mm. just naturally earns you points. Yes. Which kind of gets you to play the game because I wouldn't naturally go and talk to villagers. <laughs> I know, but I got so many nook, nook miles yes. just from talking to villagers. Did you get all the items up? Can we check it off? Oh. No, I, I didn't get all of it. I gotta get these cars as well. See, because once you get all this out of the way, mm -hmm. you can start to visualize your island. You can start to be like, okay, pathing, and you can start going nuts on pathing. You know what? I think you're right because Ooh. I actually kept them there, thinking it was serving me somehow, like it was going to help me envision things, but I think it was actually making things worse. Hmm. Yeah, because it's harder to move around yeah, and see things. Yeah, it's like trying to uh, redesign a room when you got all this mess everywhere. Man, this is why you need a mentor or a coach. <laughs> <laughs> I will be your Animal Crossing sensei. Uh, so, did we finish everything? Yeah, I think so. We checked one thing off. Look at that. Yeah. So, I noticed that you had a trash can down to yes. the right a little bit. We're gonna need that for the flowers. Yeah, we're gonna wanna pick up all the flowers and then you'll start up terraforming. You'll start up the island designer and we can start to bring this down to the ground. Oh. Oh, didn't you want me to do this? Oh, how do you pick you these up? You shovel them. Oh, that's gonna take so long. <laughs> it does take as long as you think Let's it will. I, and actually all these flowers are only here because they, I did this to earn hook miles. Oh yes. That's the only reason why they're all here. You know, I don't even have to dust these off because... Yeah, you're just going to bring them, them down to the ground. Time saver. So while you do this, I'm going to go and feed our incredibly needy cat. And I'll be right back. <laughs> and I'm going to learn how to play this game while you're gone. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. How's it going? It's going fine. I don't know how to tell you how frustrated I am right now. I'm losing it. <laughs> the cat has been satiated. The distant sounds of slurping <laughs> one's meal. Oh, you don't need to go this far. I don't? No. Yeah, so I would actually go up onto that next third level because we're going to have to take that down too. Ah, uh, look at that ocean. <sighs> oh. <sighs> I need to learn how to swim. Oh, you just need a swimsuit. It's super fun. You can catch sea creatures. And you're gonna wanna, yeah, you're gonna wanna pick up all that wood anyways and all the stumps and everything, so. It's a bit of a task. What if I feed you a steady stream of gummy bears? Does that help? <laughs> this is the face of a determined man. I've never been so focused in anything in my whole life. <laughs> Woohoo, you cleaned off the third level. Look at you! You knew exactly what, what I was saying. I learned some stuff, I'm telling you. That's awesome. I'm not this, uh, what's the, that old term? Dullard. I'm not some greenhorn. <laughs> you know? I don't even know what that means, but I get it from context. I learned it from some old guy. It uh. means when you're new at something. So I will teach you a trick with this to make it go faster. What you need to do is go every other brick. So the part that you have angled, hit that again. Now walk forward and to the right of you. Yes, hit that one and go straight back in a line. 
Oh, so it's less likely to round the corner. Yeah. yeah, it won't round out the corners. It took all three of those pieces. Yeah. So you go every other tile and it helps you to not have to hit that twice. It saves you some time with a little animation. Can you imagine how much, like, your lungs would just be black after that. There's no safety mask that you have to wear. I'm breaking like a thousand health code violations here. Plus I'm a child. <laughs> sake. This, is me this is child labor. Okay. <laughs> I just... Uh. <laughs> so for this one, what you actually do is you go from the other side where you just were and go every other block, break every other block from this direction. Make like an E shape continuously. And then you can go back and break them all. All of those edge piece, all of those E things. Yeah, like that. I don't know if that's exactly a time saver, but I think it is. That's always the way that I handle that situation. I'm surprised we haven't found any gophers or rabbits or anything. You just terraform and you just, a little gopher just runs away. Yeah, like you know how when you shake a tree and sometimes you get that hornet nest? Or you find buried treasure just somewhere. Ooh. Like, or fossils within your terraforming. Come on, Nintendo, I gotta tell you everything. And no, I won't work for you. I'll be your creative director. I don't care how much you pay me. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. I'll take the job, please. So we're gonna wanna remove this water terraforming here. That's our next task. Okay, you can get down off this cliff and you can terraform this part down. Yay! Whee! This area is where we're going to put Nook's Cranny. Oh, and since you have a two square on the left, you could every once in a while hit the block to your left. That's next level. I know, right? Hmm. So I think we might need to take away one more square, but I'm not sure. We're just trying to figure out the spacing. So we need to measure. Um, Closer? Yeah. Like right there, exactly. And then you can see where the path is. So it's like, yeah, exactly. So you'll need to take away one more line of terraforming. Do you know what I mean? Like one more horizontal line. Okay. Our shopping district is getting built today. That's the only way that we can play. On Wabi Sabi. Sabi Wabi, okay. Oh yeah, we're on the Sabi side today. Yeah. You come into my house? Look at you, you such dedication. Helps such... when you got a taskmaster, I mean uh, a manager, <laughs> I mean a friend next to you, guiding you along the way, hand-holding even. <laughs> hand-holding? Maybe even coddling a little. <laughs> but you know what? I need it. I need it. You saw it. Before you came, it was just a weed-infested wasteland full of dead dreams and full of broken death. promises broken promises <laughs> that's so true <laughs> i had to pick you up from off the ground can you pick that can up no <laughs> yeah it's been there forever thank you <laughs> ah so much room for isn't it nice yes <laughs> We I don't even care. Yes, this is a celebration. Flowers are just a tool for fun. We <laughs> Okay, we can scratch that off. Isn't that awesome? Man, having a to-do list is really helpful. It is. Uh, so now we need to move the shop and build a bridge. But those are things that I think the resident rep has to do. If you want to mark it out, so this part was very tedious. We tried to plan out where this incline would come down and then lead across to another bridge that would connect the two sides of this shopping district. And we realized that the bridge would be way too close to itself if I kept this incline where it is. So we're moving the incline, I mean, we're moving the bridge rather over a little bit so that the bridges can go pretty close to each other. And then I will move that incline 
a little bit to a different spot. Does this make sense? See, this is why I didn't include most of this footage. We waffled over this quite a bit. We got there in the end, we marked out where Nook's Cranny was gonna be, and we were all set. So that's the size that Nook's Cranny will take up. So if you stand on where our bridge will be, then you can see how it's gonna look when it's kind of finished. We'll have a bridge here, and then this will be our little shopping district area. Yeah, I think that feels good. Building on either side. But well, we got a lot of work done today. I'm gonna let Lycan go, because I can tell he's tired. I'm fading. I'm doing that. I don't know why I'm fading, but I'm fading. But leave lots of nice comments so he wants to come back and join us again real soon and work on the island even more. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was fun. No more candy. You're back to just me now, and I'm gonna do some work. I'm gonna pick up a bridge construction kit and also Nook's Cranny's kit. How's it going, Tom? I forgot to ask. I'm gonna go with this one. I feel like the iron bridges have more of like a Japanese vibe for me. Japanese city vibe. We got the shop moving kit. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I still, I can't believe how huge this building is. So cute. This is a much better spot for the shopping district in the center of our island so that we both have access to it and we'll just put a bridge right over here. So, so now it's time to remove all of this land that Lycan put here. It was a good visual, vi visualization of where we're going to be putting the bridge but now we need to remove it so this is where you're going to come from the bridge turn left to go up to the neighborhood or turn right to go to the other half of the shopping district let's see what this bridge will look like perfect that's exactly perfect so that means that my neighborhood will probably have to change slightly. So I'm cleaning up this path a little bit. Kiki will not have that much of a yard after I'm done with all of this. We've all seen symmetry. What about asymmetry, huh? Who is she? And why don't we get to know her better? So that's what we're looking at so far for the map. The shopping district is very far back on this island, but I think that it works. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing Lycan back on Wabi Sabi. I certainly did. And we'll probably end up working on this island a lot more. I've been in kind of hustle mode to finish my other island, which is Medieval Cloud Core, Alexandria. But I don't want to ignore Wabi Sabi either because it's super adorable. We got Frida here. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.